my name is Tony Brook. I'm a creative director of Spin, a design company. I also run a publishing company called Unit. We are here today to talk about my poster collection. I've basically turned my house into a, a Wim Kral shrine. We're going to have a wander around and have a look at some of the posters that I've collected. I first started collecting posters through uh, Mark Holt who was uh, one of the uh, partners at AVO. He came around to Spen's offices and showed us uh, a range of posters that he had and amongst those were uh, some Wim Kral posters and I'd, I'd seen them in print but I'd never seen them in the flesh and they were absolutely stunning, it blew me away and so I spent far more than I had on uh, on buying a, a selection of those posters off Mark and it's been an obsession ever since really. I probably got uh, maybe 50 uh, Wim Kral posters. Now I also collect other posters, collect Swiss posters and contemporary posters and what have you, but it, it all started with the uh, with seeing those first few Wim Kral posters laid out on the floor. I actually think the most Graphic designers collect something or other if they thought about it. I started collecting penguin paperbacks when I was uh, about 12 years old. And so uh, I think it all, it all comes from that. So now I collect books, I collect posters, I collect music, I collect ephemera, all sorts of stuff. But the, co the core of the collection is the Wim Kral. Particularly like the uh, poster for an exhibition on Hiroshima when just through uh, the sheer blackness and the, 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 the weight of the typography and the, uh, the types of black and the, the background's orange, it really allows you to imagine you know, the, the kind of horrors of Hiroshima without laboring them. It's, it's an incredibly powerful abstract notion. If you think about his work, he, he hardly ever uses imagery, and yet he always creates a sense of curiosity about any subject. So even though I may not know who the artist is, I'm always curious to see the work because of the poster, because it just doesn't try to reduce the artist's work to just one image and say, you should go and see this artist because of this image. It, it makes more of a, a, an allusion to the, way, to, the, to the power of the art and to, to kind of some kind of spiritual thing, which is much more in, interesting than just saying, here's a picture by X, go and see the rest of his work or her work, it's, it's, it, which is a, a very clumsy way of doing it because you never get the real impact of the art when it's reproduced in that way. One of the most important posters that, um, for me anyway, that uh, women designed was uh, Von Gavis because that's, that was the first time that he articulated uh, the grid that he'd been using for the uh, for the whole of the Stedelijk Museum series. Wim had an amazing uh, relationship with uh, this uh, client called Eddie de Wilder, who he, he worked at uh, the Van Abbe Museum with, and he also worked uh, between 1963 and 1973 at the Stedelijk Museum with. So he had this fantastic uh, heritage with the Stedelijk Museum. Uh, he, he, he designed all the posters, all the publicity, all of the catalogues for the Stedelijk Museum. I mean, I'm, I know Wim to a degree anyway. I joke that I'm kind of a, a stalker, but uh, I, f I feel like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm friends with him and his, his wife Judith now, and it's been fantastic because I've had lots of conversations with him that I wouldn't have had otherwise. Uh, I've, I've had to interview him for the for the exhibition, and I've. Uh, spent a lot of time with him going through his archive and uh, I mean it's just such a, a thrill going through the archive of the at the Stedelijk Museum trawling through boxes of uh, material that I'd never expected I'd ever even see never mind be, be stroking uh, it's been it's been quite something I've been working with Margaret Cubbage who's my co-curator on the exhibition it's been a fantastic experience a great honor to to be involved in it. Wim might be perceived to be a little dry 
in, in terms of uh, his personality, which is just not the case. He's, he's very funny, very witty, very warm man. And the, the visual communication poster is beautiful formally and, and fantastically innovative, but it's also very funny. It's a poster on visual communication that can hardly be read. Um, he looks like he's gone out of his way to make it difficult to read. It's, it's got a, a fluorescent orange to pink gradation in the back, and if that wasn't enough, he's also added, uh, inspired by barcodes, these kind of uh, vertical uh, stripes. And then to add on to that, he's added, added thin horizontal ones across it. So it's, it's, it's a real tour de force in terms of, a, of, of his skill as a poster designer. But you can't help thinking that there's an element of mischief there as well.